Hey folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to check out Earth Space Colonies. It's important to stress that this is a pre-release to an early access build, meaning that everything that you're about to see is subject to change. On top of that, I just got my press key five minutes ago, so this is going to be a first impressions video. So right off the bat, there is no options menu. I had to go to my desktop audio mixer and reduce the sound level that way. There is menu music, and I don't know if it's protected under copyright or not. Uh, there was a pop-up uh, before the game booted up, it, because the game runs on Unity, you you can adjust the screen resolution, adjust the graphics quality, and toggle full screen. So let's just go ahead and start this game and see if I like it. Keeping in mind this is an early access build and it's not available to the public yet. Alright, so is there a tutorial at all? Welcome. Welcome to Mars. My name is Sinclair and I'm your personal AI assistant. Nice to meet you. Actually, let me go ahead and, and turn the sound up. Your mission is to build and maintain the first human colony on Mars. Before we begin, let's go over some basics. Okay. Talk faster. Use WSAD keys to move around and hold the right mouse button to look around. Use scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Got it. Now, let's land our first module. Click on Colony 1, and then click where you want it to land it. Okay, so it looks like I've got Colony 1, Inflatable Habitat, Modular Habitat, or Apartment. So let's go ahead and click this. I'm going to go ahead and turn the music off, again, just for the sake of copyright issues. I don't know if there is copyright issues or not, but it looks like there is an in-game music toggle here. Congratulations! This is a first step in colonizing Mars. A Unity-class colony ship in orbit can deploy various landers to supply your colony with resources. However, landers are expensive and provide only a small amount of resources, so rigid structures will be a more permanent solution. Each structure can produce or use colony resources. Here you can view all colony resources. Before building any new structures, make sure that you have enough resources. Good resource management is the only way to make your colony grow. Let's build two inflatable habitats to expand the living space for our new colonists. Alright, new tech level. Congratulations. Alright, so, inflatable habitat. Um, I guess... Now, do they have to be connected in some way? Or can we just... That's one. 250 bucks, two stars. I'm not sure what the stars are all about. I think that's... Your current level. Raise it to unlock more buildings. Okay. So, and other games... Other games work similar to this. Like Adventure Park, for example. Uh, you actually have to level up in order to unlock more stuff. So let's go ahead and build another one. Return key to rotate. What I'd like to do is... Is this going to be done building? Oh, 53%. Okay, well, let's, let's just do another one here. Alright, now, is there a time slider of sorts here? That I can make the game go faster? View current objectives. Okay, so at some point I have to deploy two solar modules. Will the game let me skip ahead? All right, well, the second button down is Solar Farm, Cargo Module, Oxygen Module, Water Module, Solar Module. Oh, buddy. Okay, I got another tech level, all right? Great. All right. So here's my Solar Module. Hydroponics, Factory, and then the next button down, Hospital, Mining Station, Communications, Marketplace, Storage, Landing Pad, Launch Pad, Maglev Launcher, uh, Geology Station, Laboratory, and I'm guessing Achievement Buildings, Railgun Turret, Military base, terraformer, and then, okay. So this is sort of like a, a, a mini city builder of sorts. Reminds me a little bit of Soul, Z Soul Zero. Now we have enough room to unpack our bags. And a planet base. Colony now leads more electrical power. Place two solar power modules. Does it matter where? All 
right. No more sitting in the dark. Okay, so it looks like Specific all of this. buildings and modules can produce various items. Click on the build icon. That's it. Now go on and expand your colony. In case you have any difficulties, I will be glad to give you my assistance. Good luck. Okay, so yeah, pretty simple stuff from Welcome the looks of it. Welcome to Lena's Planetary Society. I'm sure you've already met Sinclair. I am Lisa, the operations manager. My job is to help you tackle daily tasks. Also, let me introduce Mark to the team. Yes, hi, I'm Mark. I will help you with research and development activities. Nice to meet you, Chief. Linus is an international organization with the goal of establishing interplanetary settlements. You are in charge of the Mars colony, and we are here to help. That's right, Chief. My daily downtime is only 45 minutes, when I have to recharge my batteries. Chief, a colony always needs basic resources. Power, water, oxygen, and food. We already have solar power modules, and now we need other resources. Go ahead and land oxygen, water, and cargo modules. I would if I could, but I don't have the experience for it. And I can't seem to get rid of this information screen. How do I, how do I escape? Like, this solar module? Like, I clicked on the I button to see what these things do, but I can't seem to close it. Which is strange. Um... Is there a button here? Colony storage, astronauts. Oh, cool! You can unlock other planets. There's Mars. Uh, okay, awesome. Oh, somehow I closed it. I don't know how I closed it, but I closed it. Okay, well. Oh, you can also click on these things too. Uh, display details about the structure. Train specialized astronauts. Uh, build various items. Seeds. Interesting. All right. Corroded scrap. All right, well, I need oxygen and stuff, right? So, how do I... Well, let's try seeds. Let's see what that does for me. All right, let's just keep building some. They cost $5 from the looks of it. Give me XP in the process. All right, what about this other habitat here? Can I do the same thing? All right, so does this add to my inventory? Okay, yes, it does. So colony storage, uh, the seeds that I'm constructing here add to that. Good to know. All right, new tech level. Now I can... Um, now I can build what they want me to build, hopefully. Cargo, okay, oxygen. We need oxygen, so I'm going to throw that down, I guess, here. Water. Cargo module. So we'll land a stockpile of food for the colony. All right. Again, how do I get rid of this thing? Okay. Good. Right a breath of fresh air. All right. Now I can finally take a decent shower. All right. Again, there's no way to connect all these things. It'd be cool if I could. Like, it, it, these things just can't automatically connect to one another. I'd assume you need wires and stuff. I mean, unless the game is just that simplistic to where you don't have to worry about that. All right. We need food. Um, so where do we get that at? Um, the cargo module contains food, so I guess we'll throw that down. Thirty food. Build modular habitat. All right. Chief, I think that now we can construct a modular habitat. Does what? That's right. A modular habitat that is a more spacious and rigid residential structure. In other words, a luxurious house. Everything here is a luxury, starting with being in this world. Great. Spam in a can is here. Let's try constructing some of these other things. I don't know what they'd be good for, but let's go ahead and queue some up. Uh, corroded scrap and rubber. Okay. 
Maybe we need some of that stuff for some of these buildings. I don't know. Wish I could just like right click on them to open up the build menu or, or it just clicking on this and then this is very inconvenient. I wish there was a way to just open the build menu without having to go through this bottom menu down here. Like that would be convenient. All right, so enough building of that. We've got a lot in storage right now. Well, not really, but 12 out of 15, okay. All right, this is 89% done. So, how do we repair? We just click repair structure. New tech level. Okay. Level up. Yes. Construction complete. Now we have more living space for our colonists. Chief, soon we'll need a lot more juice. Let's build a solar farm. All right. A solar farm links multiple solar panels with a high-capacity battery. Constructing a landing pad will make soft landings much easier. All right. Chief, let's build Biosphere with hydroponics. We could grow our own food. Mark, base operations are my job. I was just trying to help. Maybe you forgot about building a Biosphere. Right, because I only got this far on charm and my good looks. Alright, so it looks like we're 38% done with that, 92% done with that, okay. And we still have to... A few more amps we can use. Okay. What do we need for the hydroponics? Oh, there we go. Alright, so I guess we'll throw that over here, sure. There doesn't seem to be much strategy to where you're placing these things. Like, a lot of these things don't really link together. In Planet Base, you sort of had to connect rooms and make sure that people could walk from one place to another. In this game, it seems to be uh, a little, little less uh, intensive that way. Alright, so what's this button do? Well, I can upgrade it, but I need to be level 9 to do it. And I need... okay. Let's get out of here. All right, so is there a way to speed up time? I mean, there's buttons over here, but toggle image effects on or off, automatic edge scrolling, random disasters on or off, adjust game options. Okay. Well, I want to adjust game. Oh. That's not what I, I... I hit adjust game options, and it, it threw me back to the main menu. All right, so what do I have to do now? Um, solar farm, I'm building that. Uh, hydroponics. All right, I'm in the midst of building that. All right, so what are these? Th builders will repair buildings. Scientists will accelerate research. Miners will extract ore. Master builder repair buildings much faster. Expert miner and uh, professor. Okay. Interesting. All right. Marketplace and storage. Uh, at some point, we're going to need that. Sell selection of produced goods to the local population. Um, I guess we'll throw that down. At some point, we're going to need one. So I'll just throw that here, I guess. And uh, storage. Let's go ahead and throw some storage down. And... Um, at some point, we'll need more food, but that's what this hydroponics is for. All right, now, are there any time controls? Are there? Is there a way to... to make this go any faster? Doesn't look like it. Now we can grow plants in hydroponics. Alright, well let's do that. Chief, why don't we build a bigger communication array? Oh, build, okay. That's a really good idea, Sophia. Organic cheese. A communication array Soybeans. will really improve transmission quality. 
Not to mention that we could improve communication even further by researching new technologies. Compost? Okay. We should start processing surface materials to create resources we need. On-site oxygen production facility is a good start. Mars possesses abundant raw materials that are relevant to the hierarchy of future applications and progressing to the use of resources to underpin future industrial capability. Oh, I can craft stuff. Um, that's interesting. Astronaut suit, uh, dehydrated food pack. But how do I... What do I do? Just... Oh, I need, uh, comp... Okay, so basically I can produce raw resources via my other buildings, and then I can come here and craft stuff. That's interesting. At the marketplace. Sell goods to local customers. Um, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I mean, I guess I, I kind of need that for the income at some point. Alright, so what does it want me to do? It wants me to do a communications array, but I, I, I don't have level 9 yet. So I need to start producing more stuff. Uh, so let's do um, some scrap and some of that, and then we'll do that and that. Sure. Landing pad, can you produce anything? Research new technologies. Oh, what's this? Improved guidance, minus $100, plus 10 XP. Let's try that. All right, what's this one? Launch vehicles to sell items. All right, well, if I sell cheese, well, I want to have some... Now, is this cheese get added to my food? Alright, let's sell some corroded scrap. Sure. Okay, that's 20 bucks I'll get. There we go. So I just launched something. I think I got some money for it. I'm not sure. Let's try selling some of this. And launch. It's kind of hard to tell. Like, these icons here are very faded, and I can't tell what these are. Like, this is launch, but the is this... Pro, is this... I don't know. Maybe the top one is how much I'd get for selling it. The middle one is the cost for it launching in the first place, and income is the difference between the two. Maybe. All right. Again, try... Okay, I'm actually at level 8 still. I need, I need to level up more than that. Colony storage, upgrade, and trying to produce more stuff. Let's go ahead and produce more cheese. S soya beans. It's a shame I can't queue up stuff either, like... If I want to build, like, five cheese, for example. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do is just put a cut in the video here. Uh, hopefully this gives you a small taste as to what you'd be in for should you decide to pick up this game. Obviously, I didn't cover everything. Like, I still don't know what these astronauts do yet. But uh, stay tuned for more videos, assuming you guys want to see more. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.